Hello everyone, welcome back, it's TGR, that's Gaming Robbo. Guys, we're doing another video today, it's 5 season challenge with Arsenal. We're going to see how far we can get with Arsenal, managing them for 5 seasons. Now, here's the main important thing guys, I'm not allowed to sign anyone, and I'm not allowed to sell anyone, so I've got to try my absolute best to make sure we do not lose any of the guys for free transfers, or for selling them whatsoever. Now, as I said, we're not allowed to bring anyone else in. So if any of the guys do leave because they refuse to sign a contract or if they retire, then that's my own tough luck. I've got to make sure that I keep this, the base of squad that we do have for the entire five seasons. Now, guys, just before we do crack on with the video, if you do like this video, smash like on it, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell too. And guys, I'll tell you what, let's just get to work. Let's see how we get along in the first season managing Arsenal and see if we can still dominate the Premier League football without able to buy anyone and without able to sell anyone. So guys, we've come to the end of the first season. As you can see already, we haven't won the Champions League, which is quite unfortunate. But looking at the Premier League, we've already come second, which oh, five points behind Manchester United. We lost less games than them, but we just drew more than what they have drawn and conceded six more goals than what they had. So maybe an agent David Seaman might have been the reason for that. But we will go into that momentarily. But let's have a look at the other competitions. Did we obviously we didn't win the Charity Shield because we wasn't part of it. Did we win the League Cup? No, Manchester United won the League Cup. We weren't in the semi-final. We wasn't in the quarter-final. Not in the fourth round. We got knocked out 4-1 in the third round of the League Cup. Oh my good God. That is embarrassing. The quicker we get out of this competition, the better. What about the FA Cup? FA Cup really is probably the only thing that we could potentially win unless we got into the UEFA Cup getting knocked out in the first phase of the Champions League. Oh, we won the FA Cup, so that's good. We got our first trophy so far under the five-year regime. We beat Middlesbrough 1-0. I mean, who did we beat to get to the final? So we beat Blackburn 2-1. United lost to Middlesbrough. Um, we beat Aston Villa. There's your comeuppance, Villa, for absolutely annihilating us in the third round of the League Cup. Uh, we beat Norwich in the fifth round. Fourth round we beat Watford. And third round we only just scraped through South End. That is that's quite bad actually. But I mean looking through the I mean landmarks it says we only won the FA Cup. So looking through uh let's have a look at the records here. We lost one game in a row, our highest our biggest our biggest win was 5-0. Our highest defeat is obviously 4-1. Robert Perez, 19 assists. He had a good season, obviously. So if we load up all of the players, including the reserves, looking through the stats. And Thierry Henry had a fantastic season. 28 goals. Francis Jeffers, 15. Burkamp, 13. Lundberg, 13. And Perez, 12. Assists, obviously Robert Perez was going to be there. Frederick Lundberg, Patrick Vieira, he had a good season. He had a good season. Average rating of eight as well. That is incredible. We knew Thierry Henry was going to have the best assists, uh, the best man and man of the match award. Sorry. Um, passing completion. Tony Adams, he played 21 games to start with, and 83%. Sol Campbell, 82. Patrick Vieira, 80% tackle rate I knew we knew that Patrick Vieira is going to be top of the tackles closely followed by Campbell and Guillaume dribble rate Thierry Henry is the best one out of the games that they played with 1.8 and we know we know the shooting target is always going to be 100% for people who hardly play any games but uh, guys I mean first season okay it's not been Incredible. We won the FA Cup. We got knocked out very early in the League Cup, of course. And of, and as you all know, <coughs> we came second in the Champions League, um, second in the Premier League. Champions League, we didn't actually see how far we, we got, did we? So we got knocked out in the semi-finals by Lazio. 
So, you know, we, we had a good season. We had a good season. But what we are going to do, because obviously we're not allowed to sign anyone in the five-year period, of course. Now, this being the first season, we're going to go to the start of the first season. We're going to see what teams have actually signed um, particular players in the Premier League. And just before we do that, Everton, Southampton and Derby County, they've all been relegated from the Premier League. And we're looking at Watford, Birmingham and either West Brom or Millwall. So let's head over to the first game of the season in the second season. Let's see what teams have managed to bring in top quality players and we'll see how we get along at the end of the second season so guys we're literally four days away from the charity shield obviously we will be facing manchester united in that but we're like i said we're going to be going through some of the team's transfers who've uh, managed to bring some in so i'm literally going to be looking at the main teams and we'll show you how the european teams have done as well so during the close of season chelsea signed anders svensson um no one else during the close of the season before the update started. Okay, so what about Leeds? Juninho. That's a good one. He can uh, he can bring them up. Liverpool, no one. Liverpool brought in no one during the close of the season. Uh, Manchester United, no. They've not brought in anyone as well. Same goes for Newcastle United. Wow. So uh, some of these teams, they're, they're really expecting... Ah, so Tottenham's brought in Nikos Dabizas. So, yeah, guys, I mean, we, as you can see, well, quick look at Villa. No, they've not brought in anyone as well. As you can see, the big teams, a lot of them are, are literally just going to be using the players that they do have. And looking through the close of the season, so Dario Silva, the main transfer during that month in June, has gone to Celta for £12 million. Christian Vieri gone to Deportivo for 20 million and Mendieta has gone to Barcelona for a staggering 32 million pounds right guys so as I said second season's literally right around the corner four days away from the charity shield we've only won the FA Cup so far we've still got four more seasons left how long can we use this aging team of Arsenal and how long can we go without winning the league hopefully season two we will start to win the Premier League. So guys, it's the end of the second season. How has Arsenal got on in the Premier League? Oh, sweet Jesus. Sixth. We'd lost so many games this season. But we were only 10 points behind Liverpool. Sorry, 10 points. 8 points behind Liverpool. So 8 points behind the Premier League champions. That... We, weren't, we were 5 points away from United last season. But obviously the losses that we'd suffered this season it it had hit us badly right let's have a look at the charity shield oh an arsenal lost on penalties canu and van bronckhorst missed the deciding penalties that gave manchester united the charity shield that's not good for us what about the league cup oh my god we got to the final win lost to man united again for crying out loud Henri and Tony Adams missed the decisive penalties. We were so close to winning the League Cup and the Charity Shield this season. Oh my God, we lost to Man United in the FA Cup final in extra time. Ronnie Woolwork, of all people that scores for Manchester United, it's Ronnie Woolwork. Oh my God, right, well... We've got to look to see how we got on in the Champions League. Roma lost in the final. We weren't in there. Oh, we got to the semi-final. We lost 2-1 on aggregate to Roma. What? So in, in cup competitions and in Europe, we are still doing really, really good. But it's just the league this season. We were absolutely awful. We were really, really awful. All right, let's have a look at the uh, stats situation. So, Nwanko Kanu, he's obviously had the most uh, the most games. No, he, yeah, he had, he had the most games uh, during the course of the season. Top goal scorer Thierry Omri, joint with Kanu. Uh, assist, Dennis Bergkamp pulled out the most assists with uh, Lundberg and Perez. 
Perez is absent without leave. He's not happy that he's not allowed to move clubs. Oh my god. <laughs> this is what happens when you say they're not allowed to sell any players. Tackle rate, Patrick Vieira is a beast. Dribbles, Dennis Bergkamp, uh, he's, he's had a good season. And Patrick Vieira is still valued as the most valued player in the team. But as regards to Robert Perez, I don't want to sell anyone because obviously we've still got three seasons left. But he's absent without leave. I honestly do not feel... He feels he should be a first-team regular. He's basically been a first-team regular all season. I feel that we, if we can't resolve it by the time the third season starts, then we're going to have to sell him. So we've got the summer to try and sort it out for Robert Perez. But let's head over to the start of the season. we see what teams have managed to bring in what. And hopefully by then, Robert Perez and... Arsenal we could have solved out this differences and hopefully we can get Robert Perez firing on all cylinders so we're coming up to the the start of the third season as you can see we're still not brought anyone in just a quick recap obviously we Oleg Luzhny had to go because his work permit had failed Silvan Wiltord's gone because he refused to sign a contract but looking at the other team's transfer records at the moment I mean Aston Villa's brought in Frank Lampard during the close of season this season. Uh, Chelsea, they brought no one in during the close of season. Um, Leeds United, they brought in Zenden from Barcelona and Lakis as well. So they've had uh, they've had a good summer. <coughs> uh, Liverpool, they brought in obviously the Letalek and Pongo was already. Uh, registered for them to be signed but they brought in David Dunn to try and bolster their attacking midfield options Manchester United have brought in Ugo Ekiog uh, Newcastle United brought in Eric Bakke and Alain Goma uh, lastly Sunderland because they were top we have to look at Blackburn as well actually uh, they brought in Rod Wallace uh, Encisco and Thorpe from Gateshead so he's obviously a regen of uh, of some degree and um, Blackburn Rovers brought in Roa Justin Chapman of Cheltenham obviously a regen and uh, Rickson of Wrexham who was originally at Rangers so guys as you can see you know we've got obviously the main piece of the puzzle Robert Perez he's back in the he's back with the team He's no longer absent, but with him being back, Patrick Vieira dislikes Robert Perez. But unfortunately, for the time being, we've got to stick with Perez because we do need his we do need him in our team to hopefully push along for the Premier League, for all of the low all of the um, local cups like the League Cup and the FA Cup, and we need to see if we're actually going to be in Europe this season as well. Uh, judging by this at this moment in time not but I don't know if we get put into the wafer cup slot later on I don't know we will have to see but let's see what happens at the end of the third season can we redeem ourselves after our lacklustre second season let's find out so guys we've come to the end of the third season <clears throat> and we already know that we didn't win the Champions League because we weren't part of it and it says AC Milan have won the Champions League but how have we got on in the league season this season and we finished sixth. We've lost the same amount of games. We've conceded more goals this season. And we've definitely scored less. Like Tottenham Hotspurs finished above Arsenal this season. That is bad. That is bad. But I mean we're, we're 31 points behind Manchester United. They were absolutely rumpered this season. Um, obviously we weren't part of the Charity Shield. Oh my god, they beat Liverpool 5-1. What about the League Cup? No, we didn't get anywhere near it this season. Seriously, semi-final we weren't. Quarter-final we wasn't in it. Fourth round. We got knocked out in the third round by Chelsea. That ain't good at all. What about the FA Cup? <sighs> no, we weren't in it. It's not even in the semi-final. Not the quarter-final. This is getting stupid. 
third round. We got knocked out by Brentford. Brentford knocked us out of the FA Cup. So literally, the only thing we've got to check is if we were in the UEFA Cup this season. And we got knocked out in the third round, 1-0 on aggregate by Monaco. This was a very bad season for us. An absolute awful season for us. And, I mean, the goals, you can see it's drying up. Thierry Henry was 16 goals. Francis Jeffers weren't really getting that much of a look in. I can see that Robert Perez was playing up front and Henry in midfield. What is going on? God, we have got to change this. We've got to change it around big time because that is awful, guys. Absolutely awful. I mean, who, who got relegated this season? City, West Brom and Millwall. Who's coming up from Division 1? Wolves, Birmingham and either Wednesday or Coventry City. Uh, I, t I mean, to tell you the truth, guys. I mean, we've got a fair bit of money in our bank at the moment. £46 million to spend. And yet, obviously, we still can't buy anyone, which is really annoying. So, we've definitely got to... Look at maybe changing the formation, the sta the tactics for the next season, for the fourth season, because we are slowly but surely looking like that we might not l we might not last the five seasons. Let's head over to the start of the fourth season. Let's see what the teams have brought in for their next campaign, and we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully we might be able to have a good cup run, and hopefully might be able to get back into the Champions League. So, guys, we come to the start of the fourth season. And we're going to be looking at the teams uh, to see whether or not if they actually managed to bring any good players in. Villa, David Weatherall. That, that's the main person that stands out for me. Why have they signed David Weatherall? Uh, Blackburn Rovers, David Johnson, Jermaine Wright. Chelsea, they sign in. Cisco from Sunderland. Michael Ball. They've not really brought anyone in. That's fantastic. What about Leeds? Wow. That is a good sign in there. Right there. Rafael van der Vaart and Pablo Amar. Juan Pablo Amar and Rafael van der Vaart. Leeds United are definitely contending for the Premier League title this season. Liverpool, Jason van Doss. Martin Larson. That's a good one. Uh, what about Newcastle? Juice Valgarine. Uh, Zenden. Tottenham Hotspurs, Mustafa Hadji, Brett Armerald. That's a good. That's a good. That's, that is a good one for them. They could do well with him. Sunderland with Alex Ray. <laughs> no. Okay, so we're looking at season four. We're looking at tr hopefully trying to break back into the Champions League spot because we need to get Champions League football. And plus, we want a really good cup run this season too. So we are hoping, we are hoping that we can do it this season. But guys, let's go and see what happens. End of season four. Can we finally break our curse and actually start winning more than one trophy? Let's find out. So guys, we've come to the end of the fourth season. The end of the penultimate season. We've lit we've only literally just come off the season actually, and we've actually gone too far. So we have to actually go through the club's histories to see how we got on in the league itself and in the other cup competitions. A main focus point at the moment is Patrick Vieira is absent without leave, and this is increasingly annoying because I'm worried that we're gonna have no Patrick Vieira for the next season and that's going to be a massive massive blow for us but let's have a look at the competition so first of all the English Premier Division we came second we came second in the Premier Division seven losses seven draws more goals scored and fewer goals conceded that is an, a massive massive improvement playing a 4-1-2-1-2 formation that's massive improvement Let's have a look at the... Well, we weren't in the Charity Shield, were we? No. What about the League Cup? We won the League Cup! Oh, my word! We won the League Cup. That is amazing. 
Right, we'll go for because I don't want to check. I don't want to see what happens um, in the other games just yet. So we won three two. Perez Inamoto and Jeffers makes it three two. So that's our second title that we've won. That is absolutely brilliant. What about the FA Cup? No, we didn't. We didn't win the FA Cup. So where did we come in the FA Cup? Third round again. We won. We we got through to the third round. What about UEFA Cup? We got to the quarterfinals. Let's have a look because we now we know what's happened. So in the UEFA Cup, we beat Delamont. We beat Spartak Moscow. We beat Ipswich Town. Uh, let's see. Fourth round, we beat Celtic. It was Inter Milan. Inter Milan. They knocked us out. That's uh, that's unfortunate for us. Third round of the FA Cup. We lost to Scunthorpe. Seriously. That is humiliating. So let's have a look at Francis Jeffers. He scored 36 last season. Oh my days. And Thierry Henry scoring 24 goals this se um, last season as well. That's, uh, that's a massive, massive improvement. Right, guys. Well, we're going to be ed heading off to the start of the fifth season that's our final season we're going to see what teams are brought in what but just before we do <coughs> Liverpool won the Premier Division title last season that's uh, that's something we've got to change for the fifth season the fifth season I'm hoping we will have Patrick Vieira back I'm hoping that we can really fight for the Premier League title so let's head off to the start of the fifth season let's see what teams are brought in and then we'll finish what we start and hopefully win the Premier League title in the last season. So guys, we come to the last season of the Premier League and oh, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. I mean, Patrick Vieira still hasn't come back. I don't know if we're going to have him at all this season, but looking at the other teams, their transfer window at the moment, Aston Villa with Mark Kerr, that's a, a, a phenomenal transfer for them. Chelsea's brought no one really that's worth mentioning. Leeds, no. Liverpool, no. Manchester United, they brought in Rui Costa on a free transfer as well as Bobby Petter. Apart from that, I mean, we may have a chance. We may have a chance. All, it all determines on what happens with Patrick Vieira. I think that's going to be the main focus point. But guys, we're back in the Champions League. We've got a chance to win the Champions League once more. Once more for the first time. But so far, guys, we've won the FA Cup and we've won the League Cup. We need to win the Premier League. We need to win the Champions League. We need to win something more than just these two trophies. And this is the last season, as I said, where we're not going to be able to sign anyone. So... Let's see what happens at the fifth and final season. Can we finally win the Premier League? Can we do something in the Champions League? Can we do anything in the FA Cup or League Cup? Let's find out. So, guys, it's the end of the fifth season. Have we managed to do anything in the league or even in any of the other cup tournaments? I don't know. But let's find out. How have we got on? Oh, my God, we won the league. We finally won the league. That is incredible. That is incredible. I'm I'm so gobsmacked that we've managed to win the league. Oh, that is amazing. That is truly, truly, truly amazing. Let's have a look with all of the reserve players. Uh, Richard Wright was our main goalie. Good. It needed to stay that way. Patrick Vieira finally came back to Arsenal. He still dislikes Robert Perez, but he finally managed to come back, which is absolutely brilliant for us. Goal scoring wise, Francis Jeffers, Thierry Henry, Ashley Cole with 15 goals. Eight of them were penalties. Man alive. P um, Perez with 11, Vieira with 11, Pennant with 10, Aladier with 8. They all had brilliant seasons. Ray Parler with 12 assists with 19 starts. That's fantastic for us. 
passing abilities, Matthew Upson, breakout season for him, fantastic to see. Patrick Vieira's tackling rate is brilliant still. And the average rating, 8.32. The worst season he had was our third season at 7.38. Eight, I mean, last season was a better season for him as well. But mind you, he only played 16 games. No wonder why we didn't win the league last season. We should have done. But Francis Jeffers and Thierry Henry are the most valued players in our team so far. Followed by Ashley Cole, then Patrick Vieira. It's amazing to see. It really is amazing to see that we managed to do it this season. Finally. Uh, well, we know we won the league. I don't think we're a part of the Charity Shield. Oh, we were, but we lost 2-3-2 two, two to Liverpool. Oh, that was... Hope that... Oh. 3-2, that's that could have been better for us. What about the League Cup? Oh, our fourth title. We beat Liverpool, giving them their comeuppance by beating them in the League Cup final at Wembley. That's our fourth trophy in the five-year period. What about the FA Cup? No, we didn't make it to the final of the FA Cup, nor the semi-final, nor the quarter-final. Oh, my God. Really? Really? We got knocked out in the third round once again by Liverpool. Liverpool was our was the team that we just had loads of rivalry with that this season, obviously. Right, well, the last thing to check, guys, is did we win the Champions League or did we fall in the semi-final like we have done before or the quarter-final in the UEFA Cup? Oh, yes. We win the Champions League final, finally. Five titles in five seasons, averaging a title every season, which is br not brilliant, obviously, but brilliant seems though the four seasons we had prior to this was absolutely shocking. We beat Dortmund in the semi-final. We beat Bayern Munich in the quarter-final. Who is in our phase two? Roma, PSV and Panathinaikos. And who is in our phase one group? Dortmund, Rangers, Besiktas. Guys, I'll tell you what, this uh, this five-year challenge with Arsenal, not signing anyone, has really been a tough one for us. I will admit that. I mean, we st we got £68 million to spend, and as you can see, we signed no one. No loans coming in. I mean, the only people that we had lost was, I think these were... Oh, he was a good one as well, and he came from our youth academy. He would have been good. We lost Frederick um, Lundberg, Stuart Taylor, Graham Barrett, Giles Grimondi, Oleg Luzhny and Sylvain Waltord during those five year period. But guys, if you have liked this video, make sure that you do smash like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell too. We will be doing more five year challenges. We will also be doing more season long gameplay challenges as well. I'm starting to get a few notifications coming through with people messaging me asking me to do certain teams. But guys, keep the challenge requests coming in regardless if you want a five-year season or a season-long gameplay. Just message through, guys. We will be doing it for each and every one of you and giving you a nice shout-out as well. But guys, once again, thank you for the love, thank you for the support, and thank you very much for watching this video as well. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you at the next video that we have on our channel here at TGR. That's Gaming Robbo.